Okay, we don't back, folks, and if you watch all my videos, and you'll see that basically when I go to like solar artists and stuff like that, you'll see that basically there's still a solar storm going on. Okay, now we always have one of the suns, or at least the sun, give us sunlight all the time. As you can see with the sun and the supergiants here, and then doing the CME recently, and then I think the 20th is the fresh as I can get. I'm not really going to worry about jumping back too far. I think the 20th is far three day of the delay was pretty much what we're going to end up with. So anyway, you can pretty much see that. I don't think I have to blow that up at all. And then we'll pop over here and we'll go ahead and take a look at what we got here. And basically then you'll see the alignment of the supergiants and stuff. Now these suns are way the hell back. So the sun that we end up here with Saturn, Venus, and you know basically the total of the eight planets that they tell us about that's in the Milky Way. Okay. If they ever figure out that there's more than one planet in the Milky Way galaxy, they're not going to tell us. Okay. And not for a long time. It'll be, oh, well, look at the Hubble did today. We were looking at all these galaxies, and now all of a sudden we found another planet somewhere. You see what I'm saying? So more than likely that this is, and there's top, uh, audio gets messed with a lot and everything like that. Because basically, they don't want you to know that you can basically take a, you know, military-grade fighter plane or even possibly a Learjet and go into space. But then you have to be able to dock at a space station. And then it comes into money, and then they have monopoly on that. So basically, the space race is on, ladies and gentlemen. And remember, the Chinese have a space station up by Mars. Now, how close they put that to Mars and in its orbit and so forth? Did they put it in an orbit on Mars? Or what did they put orbit? Because they got it up there somewhere. And is it finished and sitting in its orbit? Or it's just floating off in space? They know where it's at. So it is out in space, whether it's orbiting or not, it's up by Mars. So they have a docking station. And yes, rich people know about it, and lots of people do business with China. So the re-entry is when you need the ceramic protection, so you do not burn up. There's layers. Remember the pyramid, and it's all about money, power, control, and positions. Okay. And basically, remember that you don't need a lawyer. You have your constitutional rights. And I'm not a lawyer. I'm not getting legal, giving out legal advice. But all that crap, there's already been a judge. And as long as there's one judge in the United States that said any enacting of anything is against your constitutional rights, it's correct. Because he ruled correct, or she, or whatever. And I believe it might have been a female. So no matter what, at least a, a judge in New York stood up for the idea of everybody that basically this is basically, even though the president signed it and the House and the Senate approved it, it shows how the cronyism that's going on in the House and the Senate and about power, money, and control in this country right now. Because basically it's power, money, and control of the whole flipping world. Because basically the U.S. military, we pretty much can control anything if we wanted to get stupid. See what I'm saying? We do it with all peace. And, and they basically do. They do it with money. We've got the money. Here we go. And basically we own the World Bank because basically we have the pink slips on all the World Bank. Okay? Watch the most recent... This year, I think it was a month and a half, two months ago, just look up the last time that the C-SPAN uh, of talking to the House and the Senate or the House and ways, ways and Means or the Senate, doesn't really matter, it's power, money, and control. And that's why they are elected officials. They're not your bosses. Okay, You have your constitutional rights. Nobody's your boss. The only thing a judge is is they sit there and monitor and keep in order the trial that's going on. And everybody has a right to a jury trial. So basically, constitutional rights, uh, my 14th Amendment is getting, uh, a lot of my constitutional rights right now are being messed with, but basically, they don't want me in court because basically then the poop will hit the fan because basically someone has messed with my constitutional rights. And there's other people too that basically the law is looking at you and basically actually factual, there is no time frame on obstruction of justice. And Bino Black has got his back, and everybody, it's a lot of other people do too, because I am actually filthy, flippin', intangible, wealthy. And some dumbasses have tried to rob my intangible wealth. Well, no matter who you are on the face of the earth, you will get the wrath. So anyway, it's nice to be dirt poor for certain reasons. So anyhow, looking again in space, you can see pretty much the V that we've talked about that more than likely is the supergiants and everything a portion of it that astronomers and astrologers, basically the astronomers, used to look at in telescopes on Earth, going through all the cloud mass and getting out there and looking and stuff like that. And now we have all these satellites out there and the Hubble telescope and so forth, and we can look at galaxies, and these are more interesting because we see what's more closer. Now remember, it takes like two years. I don't know where Mars is at here. They don't have it listed on here, but it takes two years. And Mars, and when you look at the angles, doesn't look much farther away then, but there's 
light years. There's tons of space out there. That's why they say black hole in space. We really don't know if there really is a black hole. It's usually a galaxy that's got shit going on. Because if there was a black hole, and that's what they might actually, Einstein might have been wrong on one flipping thing, a black hole. Because there could be a black hole somewhere in space, but the immense size of space is so flipping huge that the idea that, okay, if there's a black hole, then why ain't everything getting sucked into it? I.e. Hoover vacuum cleaner, i.e. Hoover mining families and J. Edgar Hoover. That's why he had the position, because that family is not poor. There's a lot of other rich families in this country that a lot of people never know about because they're never going to put them on Forbes' list. Because Forbes is a whore. And I don't know who Forbes is. It just rhymes with something. That's all I know. And anyway, as long as you don't say their first name, you can say whatever the hell you want. It's free speech. So anyhow, there's all kinds of whores in America, ladies and gentlemen. And basically, it's the oldest profession known to man. So anyway, I'm not a whore, and a lot of people would like me to be, and I'm not. And I got more Lasco footage here. And like I say, this is Venus and Mercury, I believe. I don't think I'm too wrong on that. And they look hella big right now. And people are saying, well, it's Jupiter. No, I don't believe Jupiter. I believe you're seeing Venus and Mercury. Because if you go to Beacon, you'll see that that's the only thing that's close to the sun right now. In the triangulation of being able to see from Soho, H or B. You should be able to see Mars, Mercury, Saturn. And you might have Jupiter, but Jupiter is so far away right now that it looks hella small. At least in North America, okay? And then what they're looking at, because most of the time all these satellites are interested in, most of the time, is what would come towards North America, i.e. Europe and so forth and so on. NATO, you know what I'm saying? People need to realize that that's all military alliances over the world and stuff like that. Uh, we have our constitutional rights here in America, and that's what we have to guard and protect on. No one should have been happy that anybody let the British march on the White House lawn, whether it was basically just by symbolism that we're friendly or whatever the hell, they should have never been allowed to march on, even if it would have been all American, local, probably British blue bloods, maybe hiding out over here or something like that. Whoever's all dressed up in that British gala and marching, it better have been American military or something dressed up in some kind of gala crap, because basically there shouldn't have been any British to anything marching on the White House lawn, even though it was all ceremonial and stuff like that, because... The Union Party, basically, was what that person was that was over here. It's not really officially the, the British crown when they come over here. I.e., though, she usually tells, come here, my little bitch, go tell them this. You know, it's like a little doggy, go tell them this message or that message. See, that's how it works, royal crowns to this and that. So anyway, let's let this play through. CME action up here at uh, Helio Dewar. And maybe the clock will disappear for the bottom portion. So there you go. You can freeze it and get the stuff on it. So now there's a new tornado link that I had, I think, a while back that I put in my links. I think it might still be if you put the show more button on the video. So basically, I'm just kind of sitting in here looking at this, and you can just look at that we have Venus and Saturn and Earth, and then more than likely, like I say, I'm believing, you know, that could possibly be Jupiter way over here at an angle, somewhat, somehow, because it would be the biggest thing in the Milky Way galaxy. More than likely, that it is, it is uh, Jupiter. More than likely, I would think. Now, uh, Venus, I believe, was what we had that got in our way from the Sun and supergiants. So that's why we're really not seeing. Yeah, that's more than likely Jupiter back here. Either that, or that's one of the suns in the back door. Because basically, okay, no, because when I was looking at that before, remember, now go watch. So basically you can compare and watch because this is ahead. So this is the earthal view. So yeah, this is blocking out the sun and the supergiants back over here. Okay, the sun and the supergiants back over here. And basically we should be seeing Venus and Mercury in that shot. So, and we're at an A head, and A head would be off to the right when we're sitting at Earth. You see him meet Venus. So basically, that could be that could be Mercury over here. Okay, this could be Mercury and looking big because the idea that it's so close to this actual camera that's sitting back there and giving you that HA shot. Okay, so you have to go back and look at the map on the go to Sechi, uh, uh, do a search of Soho Sechi uh, Beacon, and then you'll usually be that'll give you the, your link to be able to get to. Uh, and then it'll be where it is, and you'll get the local map for the day of seeing where we are in our stereo play. And everything's at a little different height. And as you see, because basically if you're looking here and you see Saturn, it's up a little higher, and it's all on stereo play. So see, we're not in a flat line. Everybody gets this imagination that we're in a flat line and the same would be probably altitude if you're in here on Earth and you're in our box, you know, in Earth, underneath our atmosphere. Okay? But 
basically they're always at different heights, altitudes in space. See what we're saying? So more than likely this is Mercury. For sure we know that this is Venus and Saturn more than likely is this bigger there. And this more than likely I guess would probably be we've got eight planets. Maybe we have, you know, Jupiter way off in the distance there, and it's very small looking or something like that. I mean, it would be a four, and that'd be five. You know, whatever. I don't get uh, you know, brain farts. You know, on knowing the other plants, I don't sit there and worry about memorizing them. So anyway, we showed on that footage that if you go to the video before this one that I uploaded, you will see some very stunning uh, action of so. Watch this, and then basically I'm just rambling, but go back and watch the stunning footage on the video before this, and basically I got it hottie, I think maybe, I don't know, they're always hottie, so go back and check the hottie, and yeah, they're pissed off because a lot of it more people are seeing the truth about space because there's always a bunch of horny something out there that wants to go see hottie, so whether it's a hottie guy or whether it's a hottie female, get a little bit more people to see the videos, i.e., I think everybody's probably figured that out by now. So YouTube would probably change their search setup on alphabetical order or something like that to please Kerasoft. So if they do, you'll see it in the advertising and stuff like that because I don't list mine with any advertising because I tell you the truth about everything. Don't ever lie to you. You can lie to your friends, young men out there or young ladies. Young ladies, ladies used to tell the truth all the time and I'm laughing real hard on that one. So anyway, but the uh, young men, you can lie to me. And you can lie, you know, you can lie to your friends, but absolutely do not lie to me. Okay, lie to your friends all you want, don't lie to me. Okay, Beano Black is a truthful, big ass prick. Okay, so anyhow, it's always great to be raised by military U.S. families. So the idea that most of the time everybody knows that you're going to tell the flipping truth because you know that they can get the truth out of you. Okay, so Beano Black, a tangible, wealthy, big old you know, black prick, showing you space out here and rambling and bambling, but basically, maybe the video won't, the sound might not come through on this, and there's been problems on the sounds on the other ones, so go back and look at all this space action that's actually out there. Now, this blocks the sun's brightest most spot that comes towards us, Earth, okay? So, more than likely, the sun is there. So, let me see if I'll pull up a little bit, give you a little bit more footage of H1A or B, high one. So, here we are at B, core B. And I'll pop this up on size a little bit. Just remember, folks, that basically when we're doing our stereo play that we'll always do around the sun, that which we've done for billions of years, uh, we are in a corner turn coming back to the sun because, and we're getting basically in space, we are going through what would you call jet lag here. And if you see what NASA has developed over the years for improving space, uh, uh, airplanes on Earth here, uh, when you have a downstream jet, uh, we're more than likely, that's usually why they're at high altitude. So if they ever do get in a, a vacuum hole that's out there in our atmosphere, uh, a, a vast, uh, they have a name, technical name for them. But the idea of the aircraft can usually see them 60 seconds or so before they're going to get there and the pilot will get a warning. And he'll usually try to gain altitude and or cut his engines back because when you get in that dip, the idea that you could start falling and your engines would just go scream screaming because they like that fresh, no tur no turbulence. Basically, it's a basically a hole drop. Just like you see the CME action hitting down in out into outer space. It's what basically happens in our atmosphere once it gets CME action every once in a while. It gets holes through our atmosphere and we get space weather. That's why they get these high winds and so forth. And this is the freshest from that A ahead. And as you see, they get CME action like crazy. I'm not even going to try to guess where Earth is, more than likely since we're behind B, more than likely Earth, Venus, Saturn, and everything like that. All our Milky Way galaxy stuff is probably over here like that. All right, just a guess. I'm not worried about it. I can sit around and try to figure it out. Most people that look at it a lot probably know exactly where everything's sitting at. But this is a huge millions and trillions of miles in space area that these camera lenses can shoot. And that is the sun in the supergiants. And as you can see, that you know that that's way more than just the sun up there doing all that action. Okay, because the sun and the supergiants go back through that vein there in space. And the sun is almost 11 times the size of Jupiter. And it's 10 point something to make the size of Jupiter. So basically that's the size of the sun right there. So then what the heck is all this other stuff in action? It's basically down here in this big other cover up here that they don't want to see the uh, 
all the 